Okay, next in line is Marcel Follaron. Marcel, are you here? If you're not, we have somebody else in line. You have uh, one minute. No, I mean, three seconds. Marcel is not here. Arthur, you're one of the new lightning talks. If you're here, you can take it. Okay. You, you went on the space station all of a sudden. We don't hear you very much. Maybe they go first. No, it's very bad. You don't hear me? Uh, it's uh, very noisy, at least to me. Somebody can confirm? Yeah, terrible. It's noisy. It's noisy like that. You have a robot voice on your voice. Hey. I'll take another another lightning talk. Milenko, are you ready, by the way? Yeah, I'm ready. Perfect. So Milenko, I'll give you uh, your presentation. So Milenko is here. Turn on your camera so we can see you. And I can see you. Perfect. Good. Hey Milenko. Fine. So, Milenko, you have four minutes, like everybody. All right. You know the drill. And this is mapping open source uh, CubeSat workshop ecosystem, some ontologies I see. So, four minutes now. Yeah, thank you. So, this was one idea that came up a, a few weeks ago and is since then in my mind. Um, the problem currently, what I see with the open source ecosystem that we have, is there are some approaches to map them, but it's it's never connecting. So um, what I would propose here is to develop a, a database where all of us can contribute, which links all the projects we are developing. For example, so this would be based on an ontology for, for those who don't know. So there's is uh, Protege, which is an open source tool where you can define basically a structure and then implement instances of that of uh, linked instances of, for example, software components. Um, I've did just a very brief uh, and simple uh, structure here and mapped some, some components more or less randomly. So the idea is that, for example, if you have a certain communication interface standard, for example, the LibreCube PC104, which is under development, um, and you have different boards which are compatible with that, you can flag them as compatible and if someone wants to build a CubeSat and says, hey, I, I want to use that LibreCube PC104 compatible board, what, what are the other boards which are available in the open source ecosystem? This database would basically show him, okay, you selected a comm system, for example, Satnox comms. Maybe you want to use like VST104 onboard computer with that because they are electrically compatible. Um, another thing would be, for example, if someone develops an a telescope uh, 1.5 unit you could um, say okay this fits into a two unit structure we have maybe somewhere in the ecosystem a two unit cubesat structure available but it wouldn't fit inside a one unit structure um, and the idea would be that you could define your whole mission with that for example you, you start with with your mission you have a telescope you need a structure you need a power board you need a communication system. And this would also amplify, in my opinion, the use of standardization in our community and would lead to faster developments of missions. Because it would also, I ended here basically at the uh, LibreSpace uh, OSDLP, which we heard about earlier. But in the next workshop session, there will be a workshop on mission control systems. And some of the mission control systems I saw on the list there support um, the communication standards which are implemented by the OSDLP. So you could add another link on top of the OSDLP and give already recommendations for a mission control system. So this would make a fully open source mission architecture way more easy. And the good thing is this is in the back end, this is just an XML file which you can open with an open source software. This could be in an repository and we could build a, a website uh, on top of that. 
So um, that's it from my side. I'm open for some feedback. Hey, great. Good. Right in time. Let me turn on the camera. Hey, thank you very much, Milenko. Everybody, you know the drill. This is an amazing uh, project and idea, Milenko. I hope you, you, you strive on it. So you have three, three, se three seconds. Uh, in three seconds, you give your yes to Milenko. Unmute your microphone. Three, two, one, big yes! 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 Great, great. I was afraid that three seconds is not enough to unmute. Thank you. So, Milenko, you know, you know what to do.